uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in previous set of videos we were already talking about how we are going to connect to the mongodb database how to write mongodb models and how to write apis right that basic things we have already done now we are actually coming to write something useful some useful apis like blog application we are writing so our initial objective is to get these apis done okay and we will integrate it with a react application later once we are done with the react js course okay so these are the basic apis for the user and this is for the post okay and how user and post are related one user can write n number of post every post will have a user information and every user will have a array of post which he has already written so what we are going to do in the video is we will start writing the mongodb models which are already there okay user will have a array of post reference and post every post will have a user reference so that is how we will define the mongodb models if you see the post schema in this we have added a user reference okay if you see the type is object id and in the user we have array of all the post which user has already written this user id so this is an array so this is a simple relationship we have defined between user schema and post schema now what we need to take care is if you are creating a user initially post will be empty that is fine but when you are creating a post once the post is created you have to add a reference of the user who is creating that post and also you have to update the user collection with the post okay this user has now created a post so this kind of a manual code we have to write because we are using mongodb which is no sql there is a no constraint we are not writing primary key foreign key we just need to manage these reference in the code itself because here we are defining the reference association okay so what we all we already have in the basic skeleton is we have already written the routes that's it so now we have to write services and our controllers controllers will actually will actually talk to services in services we will be making different calls to these schema models like post dot find find by id find all find by id and remove create user dot find 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 all find by id find by id and remove or user dot create all these schema model methods we are going to write before going there we will just have a look uh, on the mongoose documentation so this is how we are creating a schema this is simple we have also created a blog schema and a user schema and now mongoose is actually supporting the promises so with that help we can now write async await in our code async await is only giving us the clean way of writing the controllers and services we can write things in a single line otherwise we can also use the promises in that case we have to write dot then or dot catch for handling the errors coming from the apis okay like here this is very simple line dot find by name right so here it will give you that animal collection document right similarly there are many different examples you will see earlier the mongoose was callback based then it become promise based and now as there are promises we can use async await i will not go into the deep of uh, what mongoose is providing these static methods instance methods you can write virtuals if you wanted to define the relationship and you can populate the data in one query now we are defining the relationship between the user and post so while getting the post i also need a user information while getting the user i also need uh, all the posts written by user so we will be using some utility methods provided by mongodb this mongoose odm okay so let's get started and uh, writing this so what we are going to do is initially we will have a look simple in the next video we will start writing something so in server.js we are connecting to mongodb and starting the http server on 3002 and here we have express in the express js if you see we have some loggers i mean middlewares that is fine we don't need this so we are just using cookie parser body parser and all helmet to just adding security layer and here we are binding the routes 
so we have post route and user route and we are passing app instance right so if you see this we have export default app in app instance we are binding the routes so for post you will use api post for user you will use api users similarly api users right so all the api endpoints which are starting with api users will belongs to user okay here we'll just change few things it should be user id instead of user okay and this post routes so these are like mix because here we are also using get a post for, get post for that particular user right so that's why this user route is written in the post but here you can see we have isolated them all the post routes are registered on this router and user routers user routes are registered on this router okay rest of uh, rest all are like validating the request object we can use a class validator or happy joy is actually a module which is doing that okay now on the bottom we are just serving the favi icon that is simple and here you can see we are returning the app instance here we are doing a logging if path not found some internal exception occurred so here we can do the handling error handling if you are throwing not found exception exception internal server exception bad request exception so this is the right place where we can write if else conditions and for each and every error syntax error exception we can throw the custom errors okay express out of the box is not providing you have to explicitly say okay if particular user not found i wanted to throw 400 uh, 404 then you have to explicitly set in the middleware okay so from controllers if you are getting any error just do the next so this will come this will be the next place where that request will be coming here you check the error message error code and based on that take the action what need to be sent in the response okay this is the basic skeleton overview okay now what we can do is we can start writing controllers and services we are going to write same mvc based uh, node.js application where we have models mongoose schema models uh, controllers and services we will be writing services will be talking to these models to deal with the data controllers will be calling these service methods okay we can choose what we wanted to use either we can use a promise based calls or async await okay so that we will start writing in the next video thanks everyone